Welcome back. I'm Monica from LA Parks. Today, I'm with Channel 35 and I'll be teaching a full body sandbag workout. What you'll need is a sandbag, heavy bag, or even a backpack, your yoga mat, water, and a towel. Let's get started with the light hop in place. Light on the feet here, balls to the feet. So once again, pull out that sandbag. It could be your heavy bag or even a backpack. Even your dumbbells, just mimicking some of the movements as we move along. Options today, plenty of them. Start to turn those hands, warming up those shoulders as you shadow rope with me here in place. You're gonna have the option of working off time or reps. If it's going to be time driven, 30 to 45 seconds with maybe a 15, 20 second transition. Also, you wanna aim for reps, six to 15, depending on how you feel with that bag. Last few seconds, we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna reach down and up, walk your legs feet out. We're gonna go right into those squats. Arms up, both hands, one hand touches the floor. Alternating here, toes, knees, out. Legs are completely engaged. Hinging from the hips. Breathing in, breathing out, you got it. Give me about 20 seconds here. You got it, last few here. Knee strikes in four, breathe. Last two, really engage those abs as you open up the hips, moving at your own pace. Lean back, big movement, driving those knees up past your hips. Going in a hamstring curls in 10 seconds. Get ready, ready. Good job, right here, heel to butts. Roll standard, hands at the hips. To your sides, whatever feels good. 30 seconds here. Full range of motion. Bringing your heel to your butt. Last few seconds, you could stay here or incorporate that jog, exaggerated move, butt kick. Come on. Going into forward lunges, adding that rotation right here. Give yourself some distance, shake it out. Big step forward, same leg, same side. Push off this front heel and switch. You got it. So once again, the beauty of today's workout, flexing your options, because I'm gonna be honest, for that bicep curl with this sandbag, I'm gonna probably work off reps for the squats, rows, maybe chest, it will be off time. So play with it, have fun today. Last time each side. Keep moving, yes. Take those breaks if needed. Toweling off, hydrating. All right, let's get acquainted with that bag. One hand, bend those knees. Anytime you are picking something up, taking it down to the floor, we're just gonna walk. It might be a march. Yes, we're turning. We're not gonna walk backwards just yet. 20 seconds here, and then we'll switch sides. Opposite hand. Functional training, functional movements. What does this look like? Ooh, I don't know, 15 grocery bags. Briefcase, suitcase, important documents. Yes, 
hand switch. Same deal. So in real life, you wouldn't walk like this, but if it feels good, that's okay. Shoulders relaxed, roll back. Acknowledge your abdominals here. You got it. Breathe into the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And if you want today, when you have a moment during the workout or even after, in the comment section, tell me how much you're lifting. If you don't know, you have this scale. Throw that bag, yes, on that scale. I'm just curious. Last time here. Good job bringing it center. All right, we're gonna hinge, stick your butt back. Think about sticking your butt back in a box. So it goes towards that back wall. Both hands on this one here. Going in just to movement and mobility here. Bend those knees, shoulders relaxed, roll back. Looking down when you come down here. So you're here. Down and up. Control. A little bit of power at the top. Bending those knees. We're going to acknowledge the glutes. Stand up straight. Abs. And a little bit tighter at the top. Deep inhale. Stand up. Blow out one candle. Reps are time. I'm here for about 30 seconds. It might be six, 10, 12, or 15 reps for you. Yes. Looking good. Strong. Last two. Good job. Palms facing me. We're gonna hinge again, focus on the back. So quick movement review before using the equipment. So you're gonna hinge, neutral flat back, and really squeeze the back. This is gonna target more of your mid, lower, lower back here. Yes, bend those knees. Looking at an angle towards the floor, flat back. Let's get it. Higher reps, longer time, easier both hands, yes? Back needs to be neutral flats. Do not round, do not slouch. Chest is lifted. Not this kind of lifted, not this kind of lifted. Working against gravity here, yes? Check in. Head and neck align with the spine, not looking up, being mindful of your neck. As you move and rock this row, palms facing me. Last you here. Being mindful of that drop. Are you on the second floor? Bend those knees, carefully lower down. We're gonna go right into chest. Trying to match it out. We work back, we're gonna tap into chest. Make your way to the floor. We're gonna bend our knees. We're gonna keep it simple. That back right over the chest. Ooh, this is great weight. All right, full extension. Straighten out those arms. That back is over the chest, not the head, not the neck. Full range, those triceps, elbows, nice and close, hovering or touching the floor. Once again, how does this feel? Larger muscle group, duration. Are you gonna strive for that 45 second push? higher reps, or you're just gonna follow along, right? Do what feels good. Challenging your body. Deep inhale, power at the top as you exhale. So the beauty of fitness, you have that little bit of play, 
that fun variation, control nice and slow, or power up, yes. Mix it up if you like. Head is relaxed. These are bits. We're gonna incorporate the abs, shoulders a bit more, a little bit later into the workout. Last few here. Carefully take that back off to the side. Being mindful of that rotation, make your way up. Listen to your body if you need to towel off, hydrate. Take it, take it. All right, we're gonna go into squats. We're gonna place that bag at chest level. Strong foundation, wide stance, toes and knees forward or out. All about comfort. So you're here. Bend, lift, nice and tall. Hands from the hips looking towards the floor. It's your low deep squats. Elbows touching the quads. Tempo. How are you feeling? You can slow it down. You can hear the music. You can catch the beats. Play with it here. Reps are time. I'm going to strive for time. I'm about halfway. We're about halfway. 20 seconds. You got it. Deadlifts coming up. Straight leg. One more. Release. Straight leg, slight bend in the knee. Slight. You may hear trainers say soft knees. So that bag, once again, is gonna be in front of you. Slow on your way down. Power up. Be mindful of that back. Slow. Power up. There's probably about five, a few of you. That's already started. So let me join you. Yes. Checking in. Hinge. Power up. Stand up straight. Do not push your hips forward. Brush your back onto those strong legs. Yes. So the beauty of rocking this heavy sand bag, you may have a lot of options with your grip. Yes. Mix it up if you like. Palms facing you. Or should I say palms facing each other? Yes. Slow. Power up. Legs are close to straight. We acknowledge our hamstrings. Shoulders relaxed, roll back, looking straight down. Finishing off, you have about 20 seconds left. Once again, check in as you lift, power up. Slow, control, control, control. Boom, last one here. Good job. All right, we're gonna switch it up again. Shake it out, arms and legs. We're gonna go into bicep curls. Check in, how heavy is that bag? Maybe it's a little bit lighter. Definitely pass the warm up. You can walk your legs feet out. Strong stance, yes. Going right into those bicep curls. 30 seconds, maybe six to eight reps. Yes, control, control. Excellent, at the top. Chest is lifted, shoulders relaxed, roll back. Do not slouch, bend those knees. Strong foundation, not the makeup, but your stance, yes. 
We're gonna go right back to the floor. Hey Epps, how you doing? The beauty of rocking your heavy back today. That sandbag might be a belt today, right? Depending on what you are working with. You are always working your abs. Yes, when you're ready, ready. Make your way back to the floor. As we tap into those legs, warming up, waking up those abs. Woo, good weight, heavy weights. All right, so we're gonna do a nice little split. Rep count driven. So you're gonna lift, two, three, hold. Hold it up, legs come up and down. Four, three reps. Three and three. You got it, come on. Lower back stays on that floor, especially with those leg lifts. One extra one, yes. Wrapping up here, come on. A little goes a long way. Controlled movements. Carefully make your way up. Back off to the side. Take your time, tall off if you need to, hydrate, quick shake. Good job. Switching it back up here, we're gonna go right into lunges we're going to go into that reverse lunge placing that back to the corner or completely to the side dropping it low towards the floor legs channeling in our glutes same leg same side same leg same side that front leg you're here yes legs feet about hip distance apart you're going to really push off heel toe from this front leg yes you hinge upper body comes down chin almost to the chest here take your time once again reps or time 45 for me how about you are you following along are you stopping at six and by the way if you're aiming for six it is going to be six reps each side. Knee towards the floor or touching. Checking in. Make sure your toes, knees are forward. Yes. Try to make it as seamless as possible on that rotation. Activate those glutes. Last time each side. Good job. Now we're going to switch it up here. We're going to hinge, bend those knees, neutral flat back. Single arm row. So we're here. This should look familiar. We typically do this with our dumbbells, not our X's, but now we're going to use the bag. Yes. Hinge. Working against gravity here. Going right into it. Once again, reps are time.
Ooh. Twice as hard, yes. Twice as difficult. Shake it out. Other side when you're ready to switch. Center. That was 10 on each side. All right, we're going to go right back to that standard squat, that bag at chest level, strong foundation. You can have fun with this one. Walk your legs, feet out a little bit more to tackle, channel into those inner thighs. More of a narrow stance, toes, knees out, acknowledge the glutes. Completely narrow, toes, knees forward. Quads. Play with it. Challenge, choose one for 45 seconds. Let's get it set up. Even with that tempo, pause at the bottom. Nice, deep stretch. Stand up strong. Stretching the glutes. Neutral flat back, dropping it low. Define your low. May look different from mine. Yes, your neighbors, if you're working out with somebody today. Last you here, 45 seconds. You might be aiming for 10, six, 12, maybe 15 reps. If you're moving at a quicker tempo. Come on. Last one here. Let it go. All right, we're gonna go right back to chest. Abs at the same time, we'll break it up. Lifting that bag slightly behind us and straight back down. So we're gonna tap into chest, back, shoulders. All right, once again, listen to your body hydrates. Meeting you back on the floor. So we'll be on the floor for a moment. Standard chest. Both legs at the same time. Set up. Slow. Power up. Two counts down or three. Power up. of fitness. Maybe your arms are a bit tired. Keep the legs. Yes. Legs, feet down. Yes. Keep the chest. But the suggested move is both. You got it. Last few seconds. Good job. Rest those legs. So you're going to take that back a few inches above the head. Center. All the way down. Lift. Crown of the head. A few inches. Feel the shakes. Control. Wrapping up here. Five to six reps, finish off here. 30 seconds, 20 seconds. Get the last few in as we wrap up today. Definitely focusing all about resistance. You had fun today with this bag. You want this to be a little bit more cardio based with your body weight let me know in the comment section down below 
Let's take that bag off to the side. Flip on over. Stretch it out. Let's get your body towel off, hydrate if you need to. We're gonna go right into that child's pose. Switching it up, knees out, toes in. Sit on back. Using that bag or not. Wiggle those fingers, wiggle those toes. Gently rock side to side if that feels good. Walk those knees in. Sit onto those heels. Breathe in. Exhale, take those arms back and down as you look up. We're gonna go into pigeon in just a few seconds. When you're ready, carefully release. Right or left leg forward. Once again, you can use that bag or not. Slide it in. Bring it on down onto your forearms, elbows, or just lift up right here. Looking straight ahead, looking up. Drop that head side to side if that feels good. Excellent job today. When you're ready, back leg, bring it in. Open up that chest. Hip flexors, quads, yes. Last few seconds here. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Breathing into the nose, exhaling to the mouth. Carefully release, opposite leg. Once again, you can come down if that feels good. Stay onto those hands. You can rotate the wrists. The beauty of utilizing that bag. Drop the head side to side. Roll the shoulders back, gazing up. Excellent job today. Once again, any questions, comments, suggestions, let us know, let me know. In the comment section down below, pure strength, back leg, bring it in. More of a boot camp style training, or reading a little bit more cardio based, plyo having fun with that bag. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see in the future. When you're ready, ready. Carefully release. Meeting you in that plank. Walk those hands back towards those toes. Bend those knees. Roll it up. Shake it out. Yes, making sure that back's off to the side. Out of your way. Nice deep squat. Deep inhale up. Dropping it low here. Yes. Move a little bit or remain still. Deep and hull up. Exhale over to the right or left side. Breathe and lengthen. Look at those fingers, toes, other side. Back stretch, center here, deep and hull up. Walk your legs, feet out. Grab those hamstrings, pull up, chin the chest. Primary back, secondary shoulders, back of the neck, chin to chest. You got it. Take your time. Deep inhale, all the way up. Exhale, push out, shake it out, arms and legs. Last time for good luck. Breathe and reach and relax as you exhale. I appreciate you all joining me today. You, say it with me, you rock.